Authorities investigating the cause of Sunday's chemical cloud are working on the assumption that it came from a ship in the channel after environmental monitoring sites picked up a localized spike in pollution levels. The Maritime and Coast Guard Agency is working with the Environment Agency to establish the source of the cloud, which left 150 people seeking medical treatment and caused the evacuation of Berlin Gap Beach in East Sussex. So far there is no evidence that the cloud came from an inland source, and authorities have also played down speculation that it could have drifted from as far as France. A source close to the investigation said, it might be a ship venting, but let's wait and see. A satellite imaging agency may have located a possible source of the chemical plume to a boat close to the East Sussex shore. Neotis, a facility of the UK Natural Environment Research Council that works with the Plymouth Marine Laboratory and the University of Dundee, tweeted images appearing to show a plume coming off a boat on Sunday morning. One image showed a plume of around 3.5 kilometers long. Neotis is urging the Met Office to help determine whether wind speeds at the time could have drawn the plume on shore. Two pollution monitoring sites on the south coast picked up a quadrupling in ozone levels in a 30-minute period on Sunday afternoon, suggesting the toxic cloud came from a nearby ship. One site at Devonshire Park in Eastbourne, and the National Monitoring Site at Lullington Heath, East Sussex, are both within five miles of Berlin Gap. Map of Area Timothy Baker, from King's College London's Environmental Research Group, which manages the pollution monitoring network for Sussex. Local authorities said these readings suggested the source was nearby and offshore because of the wind direction at the time. We are not sure what it was, but there was a very distinct peak. The levels quadrupled at the time that incident was reported. Within the space of about half an hour, the readings we were getting from those sites went from 30 up to about 120 parts per billion of ozone, said Baker. No other sites recorded a rise, he said.